Welcome, one and all, to the wonderful world of Pokemon. Our beloved Gallard region is a wonderful place with thriving nature. Beautiful cities and many Pokemon which will sh with, with which we will share our lives. Hashtag not slavery. As you know, our society is able to thrive. Thanks to the help of the mysterious creatures that we call Pokemon. What is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, yes, Pokemon are all around us in the sea, in the sky, even in, with us in our towns. And those of us who choose to raise and train uh, Pokemon to do battle and compete. We call Pokemon Trainers. Oh, but I'm getting carried away. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rose, and it's a pleasure to be here. Really? Was not expecting Rose. Now turn your gaze to the Galar region's greatest Pokemon trainer, your undefeated champion. It's time for the champion Leon's ex exhibition match. Who wears a cape? My God. Exhibition or not, Leon, your pristine record ends today. You know I don't lose battles, Rahat. Charizard, Dynamax! You can type Dan Rage for Charmander, even if you're a non-sub. <gasps> it's Dan Happy! Oh my god! Hello, hello. Oh, that your flash new phone, Dad? Were you watching Lee's Expedition match on it, but you can't cheer him on with your hands full? You know the only way to properly cheer on Lee would be his famous Charizard pose. Pop, I didn't expect to see you here today, dear. Isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I came running over to get Dan. Never mind, we're watching the match now. I've got it recorded at home anyways. I record all my brother's matches. Come with me, Dan. He should be here any minute. And Lee always brings presents when he visits. So I wouldn't forget that bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. See you at mine later. Sounds slightly off. Is that any different? Test, 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 test. 
You're a five and four. Must just be my headphone then. One headphone's louder than the other. That's annoying. Yeah, it's annoying me. <laughs> oh, I can move. Okay, I was like, something gonna happen? We got a nice TV. It's a television that mom uses to watch her comedy dramas. You know, it's funny seeing the technology update as the games get more modern too. I remember back in the day having like a big ass CRTV, a big giant CRTV on the original Game Boy version. What the hell is that? Yeah, with a Super Nintendo attached to it. Nom 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 nom. That kind of looks like Snorlax's baby. If you made it with a Meowth. Lots of books and magazines about Pokemon neatly lined up. There are lots of books and magazines about Pokemon neatly lined up. Are we going to do the the same opening as every other one where we we go out, the professor's getting attacked by a Pokemon, and we pick one of three Pokemon and throw and save the professor. We can do that again. <laughs> you feel like you're bagging leave in your room? Grab yourself a hat for the weather as well. Well, where is my room? Rushing off in that state, Dan? Didn't Hop say you should bring your bag? I saw it in your room. Don't forget to grab a hat for the weather. That's a pretty looking mama. That's a waifu mama. It's a mom foo. Fridge is filled with your food your family likes. Munchalax will come to eat any leftover food, <laughs> so the sink is sparkling clean. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. It's like a garbage disposal. I love it. Lower the music. Um, I'm way louder than the game right now. At least on, on OBS's. Uh, OBS is tracking correctly. Who's this guy? It's the plush of Pokemon Pikachu. It's super soft to the touch. Brand new telly. Your mom bought it so that you could uh, use your game console. Let me guess. Oh, yeah, right there. I see it. Do you see it? Right next to Pikachu? The latest video game console sitting by the telly. It is a Nintendo Switch TM. It's the bed you, want, you went to buy as a family. Super comfy, but you sleep instantly. Wait a minute. I don't have a door. I'm... I have no privacy. What is this? Just an open air right to the kitchen? Are you kidding me? What is going on? That's that's insane. You grabbed your dad's old bag. Oh, so I have to wear a hipster hat. <laughs> Open the menu, pressing the X button. Save your progress by pressing save. Check location on your next destination on the town map. Uh, you should check this adventure guide anytime you want the key items section of your bag. Is my dad gone again in this game? What is with Pokemon dads never sticking around? Uh, choose that Pokemon automatically sent to your boxes or not when party is full. Give a nickname. Ch choose whether you wish to give a nickname to Pokemon when you obtain it. Nope, I don't want to give nicknames. I never do nicknames. Gyroscope or camera controls in the camp. Nope. Regular, regular, auto save. Casual controls? 
skip movies, show nicknames. They got a lot of options for this for speedrunners and stuff. I'm, I'm glad they let they let you disable. Um, I love that they make it so you disable the ability to um, give nicknames because it always was annoying to have to do that extra step every time. I could turn it off. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I do have the digital version, but is everyone getting this bug or is it just some people? The autosave bug where it deletes your SSD drive. Just some people? Okay, I'm, I'm leaving it on. I'm not turning it off. Some deaths you can keep using even when you become an adult. <laughs> um, audio option in the game, you get you have to have some item and talk to an NPC in town. Yeah, I was looking for the music option. Some people are playing music was loud. It sounds fine to me, though. Bye, mother. Oh, don't look... Don't you look a tree. I knew the bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, now going to the forest with the two of you. You know, we're bad we're bad sons and daughters. How many of you never came back to your mom even once during your playthrough of Pokemon in all the games? Your mom would let you go off and you never came back to even say, Hi, Mom. Nope. You just left off to be a Pokemon trainer and you never came back. Oh, pretty. Oh, I want the floofy sheep. Oh, hey there. Boo, doo, doo, doo. Is, is that a new Pokemon? I don't know what's new and what's not. <gasps> I recognize that guy, the butterfly. I mean, or moth. That's a moth, right? Or is it Butterfree? That's the butterfly one. We got Butterfree looks kind of iffy. <laughs> Have a look at you, Dan. That old bag looks like it could it could pull you over. At least uh, we know that it should hold anything. Leave my bring, even if it's as big as a Snorlax. He said it. Okay, Dan Happy is not very smart. A Wooloo? What's... But what is it doing here? Go, Wooloo. Hey, you silly Wooloo. I see your, what you're up to. Don't go using tackle on the fencing. Now you listen. No going past that fence. No! Bad Wooloo. Everyone knows there's, there are scary Pokemon living in the slumbering well. <laughs> <laughs> now that's taken care of. How about it, Dan? Let's race. But I can make it to my house first. Well, with you lugging that old big bag. That's not fair. He's moving on before I can do anything. New move. The power of science is amazing. Now you can battle and trade Pokemon with other people just by walking around. Isn't that super amazing? Hey, Dan. Hop was looking for you now. But no need to go to the next town to find him when he lives right next door, right? You love the cosplay? I know, Pokemon! Oh, he has a big ass house. Hmm. 
Mom, is he here? There you are at last, Hop. Oh, and you brought your... Uh, you've brought along Dan. Hello, dear. Hello, mother who's inferior to my mother, because my mother is awesome. Yeah, yeah, but where's Lee? Have you got him crammed in a cupboard? He's still not here yet for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn some patience. He's probably only just arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. That's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost on the way. Oh, will you? Yeah, that's probably for the best. You're st you've got to come, Dan. You've uh, still not met my big bro, right? Can't miss out on the chance to meet the undefeated champion. I'll wait for you en route. Let me guess, he's attacked by a random Pokemon. And then I have to pick one of three to save him. Do you think I could steal, madam? A uh, fridge that can store a lot of food. Kitchen's always kept clean. Go on with Hop to pick your pick up Leon, won't you, Dan? I know you're the reliable sort. I'll have everything ready for the barbecue. Uh, in the garden by the time you're all back. Did did she say barbecue? Oh my god, I want a barbecue. Alright, we're coming back. I'll explore the house when we come back. Yeah, what the hell is that? What is that, Pokebud? It's a ugly version of Meowth. Let's get a move on. Why is he Sora posing? Only remember, Dad. Wild Pokemon can come out of nowhere if you walk through patches of tall grass. I've got my Wooloo with me, so I'm ready for battles against wild Pokemon, of course. But not you, Dan. So we'll steer clear of all the tall grass as we go. But there's a Pokeball over there, would it? Let's go meet Lee at the station. It's dead ahead of here. I want a Wooloo. <gasps> I see Charmander. He's still wearing that cape. Sorry, Charizard. Well, hello, hello, Wedgers. Your champion, Leon, is back. I promise I'll keep doing my best to deliver the greatest battles for you all to watch. It's our, it's our unbeatable champion, Leon, you and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope you all carry up trading on your Pokemon and never shy from battle. Then some challenge uh, me for the champion title. We're on it. We've been working our battle skills just like you've taught us to, Lee. Look at that. Look at that old man right there. He's like, Get in my belly. Get in my belly. <laughs> but that Charizard is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Too true. That Charizard is blazingly strong. <laughs> But other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I want to, the strongest of challenges to fill the gym battle and come battle me. My wish for Galar's trainers is to work together to become the strongest in all the world. Grar! Lee! Hop! So my number one fan in all the world has come out of his way to pick me up. Look at you, Hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since I last saw you. Bingo! That's the sort of sharp eye that's kept you undefeated for so long, Lee. And these bright eyes over here? I've got it. You must be Dan, right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. 
I'm the Galar region's greatest ever Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan too. People call me the unbeatable Leon. Come on, Lee. And you, Dan. I bet I can beat you both back home. That hop. Always wanted to be the best, isn't he? With a proper rival of, of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell for today. But don't fret. Okay, Freddie Mercury. God, what is that pose? I'll always be around to make sure everyone in Galar can have a champion time. Man, he's got so many sponsors on his back. So many sponsors. Like Madrina's Coffee, available right now at the link below the channel. Use code word dead and save 40% off your order. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present. So, out with it. You brought Dan and me Pokemon? You did, didn't you? I know you must have. Right then. The greatest gift from the greatest champion. It's showtime, everyone. Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon, Grookey. Fire type, Score Buddy. And water type, Sobble. Aww. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he's so sad. All right, line up, everybody. Which will you choose? He lets me choose first, not his brother. Go on, uh, you pick first. I already got my Wooloo after all. Let me see. I think I will... I'll take you, little buddy. Oh, hey. I'll take you. And I shall love you forever and ever. And you'll be mine. Green screen. Grass type po Pokemon Grookey, eh? It's feeling like a nice long walk in the woods. Yes! You chose Grookey! Grookey has been added to your party. Aha! So it'll be Grookey for you. Nice one. I'll go with Sobble, you're mine. I'm aiming him for, to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I will be doing some serious trading. Wait, what? He chose the one that's weak to me? Why did, would he do that? Okay. That's, that's bad. I guess they made it easier for people. Woo-loo! That you will be, Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Dan. So the two of you can battle and train and grow stronger together. Uh, to try to reach me. Aw, so score buddy. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong and real kind, too. No one likes Score Bunny. All right, enough of this uh, trader nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. We're eating Wooloo tonight.
We told her not to slam against that fence. Are those peppers and sausages? Kebabs? The next day. You spent the whole night with the new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two getting all getting on all right? Understanding one another? Maybe even build up a bit of love? Of course I have, Lee. Dan's made fast friends with his grookey, too. Then listen up, new trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worth, worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking for, uh, at him for, Lee? I'm the one who's, who'll be coming to challenge you. If you think Dan might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm, play I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having Pokemon uh, with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know. Proper trainers raise your Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to... Uh, take Hop on to the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Yeah. Believe in your partner Pokemon and care for them too with all your heart. Th do those two things, I'm certain you'll choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. More importantly, to have a champion time battling uh, with them. Looks like everyone's on board. Pokemon and traders alike. Let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he's left behind at home too. And somehow I still chose the wrong type of Pokemon to fight against a grass one. I mean, I know how to win. You're a challenge Pokemon trainer hop. All right, let's do this, buddy. I've been training since 1999. I'm a millennial champ, bro. I've got two partners with me. All right, let's see here. Fight. I will scratch you in the face, Wooloo. Pokemon lose tackle. Ow! Critical hit. Get him. You scratch. Pokemon lose tackle. Uh oh. One more. How to do it? <laughs> Yay! Level up! Give me a grass move. Come on. Yes, branch poke. What? It's not over with yet. I've had another trusty ally to the team. And I'll sopple. All right, let's see. Branch pokes a grass type move. Uh oh, buddy, you're in trouble now. Uh, user attacks the target by poking it uh, with a sharply pointed branch. Okay then. Branch poke. It's super effective. Did you know about uh, type advantages? The opposing South will use Pound. Ah! Pound. Time to poke you with my stick again, buddy. Woo! Good job, Grookey. Wow, he leveled fast. Jeez. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and that Grookey are too much. You got 400 bucks for winning.
Well, that was a shock. Guess I know why you, uh, Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought hard. Made me almost want to let Charizard and uh, let out Charizard, join it all the fun. That would be unfair. Okay. Good effort out there, Groofy. Why don't I get you all sorted? And then, you've got real promise. In fact, I've got a favor to ask you. Uh, be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him. Uh, calm a little bitch and make sure uh, both of you are stronger. I already want to get stronger and stronger. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've got to take me on at the Pokemon Gems. You? Join the gym challenge? You think you're ready for a single the single greatest competition in the Gala region? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little brother. Uh, if that's what you really want to do, you two have a lot of you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Dan. Before you think about getting uh, gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn much about things, uh, all kinds of things about Pokemon out there, including uh, their strengths. But it's more than a collection of data. You know, it's a collection of a trainer's love and passion. <laughs> what? <laughs> For Pokemon training. Right, right, we get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like uh, it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Dan. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Uh, I have 900 Pokemon on my Pokebank. Well, about that, Hop. We're cutting that down to 400. Fuck. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You better get uh, go tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Mm -hmm. No, we have to say goodbye to our mama. Mm -hmm. Crash! Didn't you hear that just now? The gate's open. And the Wooloo that was there. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier, and we did nothing to stop it. You don't think it actually broke through there? Do you? But it's off limits. Nobody's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once. She came back in a real state. And there was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterwards. Dan, what do you say? We've got to save it. Because I'm a Pokemon hero. Right, even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene you simply have to. If it's needed. I uh, hope you're ready for anything because we're going in, Dan. Let's go save him. Slumbering Weld. Ooh, it's very foggy here. Yeah, you got any Pokeballs? That Wooloo, where do you think it got up to? The fog is really coming on thick now. This might be trouble. The game is beautiful looking. <laughs> it's so cute! Look at him! I love it! His little chubby cheeks! <laughs> uh, go ahead and scratch him! Oh, I need him! I'm guessing that's our Rattata. That's so cute. 
Yeah, so we just murdered him. No big deal. Doing it right there, Grookey. Let's make sure you're in top shape. Oh, wow. Healing every fight. Okay. Easy mode. Hey, Wild Rook... Rook... Rookies unnerved. Hey. That was a cute little owl looking one. I like it. You hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out? Ah, chubby cheeks again. He's so cute. I love him. A critical hit, but not enough to kill him. I don't have any Pokeballs, I don't think. <clears throat> Not yet, though. Come on, and that Wooloo might be in big trouble. Man, I keep seeing my own hand in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Uh oh. What in the? has no effect the Pokemon's gaze is fixed on you move had no effect on it uh oh dad I can't see anything you okay I can't run away. Uh, growl at it. Oof. I can't see. Even the UI is blurred out. Dead? What? Lee, how'd you ready to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Unless I see here from the little brother who had me worry sick. I've been waiting ages for you two and you never showed. Of course came looking for the two of you. Wait, where's the Wooloo? We're trying to rescue that Wooloo. Yeah, little chap's fine. Uh, to all of you, had thought you all had faded by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. 
but it took courage to come in here all the same, and I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, Hop. At least that Wulu's all right. Yeah, Dan? I thought we had it uh, when that weird fog started rolling in that mad Pokemon attack. But at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon. What are you talking about, Hop? It seems load stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. It has a sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seem to pass right through it. Our moves pass right through it. So the fearsome Pokemon, they say, live in the tumbling wheel. Are they actually illusions or something? Could be the ones uh, to reveal the truth someday. Uh, for now, uh, be alright that I'm here to, with you. Even if we did get an earful from Lee, from what an experience. This will be a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Yeah, we went into the woods and got smoked by some creature and then fainted. What a great story. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you she'll go spare if you leave up without a word, even worse than Lee just did. Uh, this kid thinks that this is his story. That he's going to be the champion. <laughs> he doesn't know he's not the player. <laughs> he's not even the player. Chum chum! Well now, isn't Grookey just a sweetheart? Ah, uh, yes. I've heard news from young Leon. Uh, I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. Off to Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here you go, a bit of pocket money for your journey. Uh, be, buy yourself a little something at the Poke Center. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Grookey will battle to the very end for you. Uh, so don't go pushing the poor deer too hard. Tum Tum. And you Grookey, look after my little Dan. Come home to rest anytime you need. After all, east or west, home is best. Who says that? Okay. Who the hell says that? East or west, home is best. <coughs> I want to see what's upstairs over here. Sometimes I like to hide hidden items and stuff. To hop his brother, it's a superhero. All these trophies belong to the champion. Books are about the champion. Meow. Let's snoop around his room. Sheets are very wrinkled, lazy. It's the TV that Hop always watches the champion matches on. These posters are uh, the of the top three most popular Pokemon in Galar, Charizard, Machamp, or Machoke, and uh, Gengar. Ooh, Gen 1. Hey Lee, what's up, buddy? I mean, hop. Sorry, Rumpus. Here we go. It's quite a big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess we'll probably train up Sabo a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building uh, with the giant Pokeball on it. Mark out in front. It's the Pokemon Research Lab. What the hell? We want to wake up the sleeping Wooloo, right? Better take the long way around. Wow. Wow.
Alright, uh, do I have any Pokemon balls? I do! I have five now! Alright, buddy. Not very effective. Ow. Try branch. That does slightly more damage. Ow, that, oh, ow, 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 my god. She hits hard. Okay, I think one scratch ought to be ought to be it. Get him in the red. Nope, it crit. Of course. Of course it crit. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a strong Pokemon. Wait, Wooloo? Hey, Wooloo, what's up, girl? Um, that was too much. If I hit it again, it's gonna, um, it'll die, so let's just... Here we go! Come on, woo woo! Yes! <laughs> woo woo! We got a Wulu. Wulu's been added to your party. Hell yeah! You found a potion. Wait, mystery gift? What? Get a mystery gift? Yes. What is a mystery gift? Will it be a mystery? Searching for gifts. Gigantamax Meowth gift. What? It's not an actual Pokemon, right? You got a Meowth. What? Oh, just a regular Meowth. Okay. Get the wild area news. Take a stroll with Pokeball Plus. That's just like a regular Meowth, nothing crazy. <laughs> yeah, just a little Meowth. Yeah, I, I bought digitally so there's a code for uh, 12 cheat balls that I didn't earn. It's too nervous, what, to eat berries? Scratch. Damn, nice hit.
Let's go ahead and Pokeball. Two. Three. Yes. Woo. Do, 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 do. Yay! All right, that's four. Oh, whoops! Chubby cheeks. Still gotta get chubby cheeks. This one's far weaker than the other one. Yeah, you get uh, group XP and all the modern Pokemon to save time. Just cuts down a massive amount of grinding. Boom! Oh, you can just press X to throw the Pokeball without going in the menu? We got Chubby Cheeks! Alright, let's see here. Let's have Meowth go there. I see a Pokeball. Grab it. Two paralyzed heals. Nice. Spray 10 minutes in retreating paralysis. I'll do another fight. All right, Meowth, what you got, buddy? Fake out? Tax first makes target flinch. Oh, that's a nice move. Slash. Ow. Uh, numerous coins throw the target if money is earned after the battle. Use payday. Not very effective. Oh, Meowth. Uh oh. He's going to kick your ass, buddy. Go, Grookey. Finish him off, please, buddy. Killed by a squirrel. Oh, everyone leveled. Hell yeah. I know, lost to a squirrel as a cat. Picked up 50 bucks. Hell yeah. Excuse me, boys. I need the Poke Center. <laughs> Get out of my way. Wooloo simply loves the Poke Center. Come on, Lou. You're perfectly healed. Now, time to go back home. Sir? Sir? Sir, I have Pokemon here that need healing. I just remember that what the sign here uh, used to say. To the right of the Pokemon lab, on the opposite side of the station. Fine.
Well done, you reached the goal and managed to find the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh, Charizard's creeping. You did a far sight better than, uh, than I did my first time. I'm hopeless with directions. Let's see how your uh, your world of Pokemon has grown. All thanks to have Pokemon with you. I'm sh I'm sh I know I'm sure glad to have Charizard with me. Help uh, keep me from getting lost all the time. Now in we go. <laughs> I've got to get Professor Mongolia. Everything in here looks fascinating. Bow, Wark. It's Danyum! A little corgi! What is it today, Leon? Looking for info on a never before seen super strong Pokemon? I wish you'd stop with these outlandish requests. I was expecting a male professor. Whoops. Good to see you too, Yamper. Yamper here is a real champ when it comes to helping you find your way around. Uh, he came to my rescue uh, plenty of times back in the uh, day when I got lost on the road. Oh yeah, that's his trainer, Sonia. What can I say about Sonia? Well, I like the way she cooks. Wow. She makes food you can cobble down in a flash. Wow. Psst, what kind of introduction is that? Did you forget we're rivals? Uh, we were rivals during our gym challenge? It wasn't just Yamper helping you out. I did too. Anyway, nice to meet you. Name's Sonia. I'm the professor's assistant. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is Dan. Set him on the right path, would you? I need that Pokemon. Give that to me, please. Uh, what, what does he think I am? He's always got his head in the clouds. No longer gets lost. All the time. Thank you for subbing Laser Chimera X Garbage, Save Me Punk, Canamambo, Homer, Bateman, Sick Deer, Remax, Julian, Trustbreaker. Thank you all for those subs, guys. Oh, looks like you got a Rotom phone. Hey there, Rotom. What? Dick, what the? <laughs> Rotom phones are handy little things, aren't they? They've got a map and navigation tool. That said, uh, Leon still gets lost, so. Oh, sorry, so tell me, do you know a lot about Pokemon? You bet. Well said. In that case, I'll make it so you can use the Pokedex on your Rotom phone. Woo! Sorry. Pokedex. Just so you know, that Pokedex is a gift from my Gran. Could you let Gran know that you received the Pokedex? Uh, she lives in the house down along Route 2. Oh my god, I need that Pokemon. Yep, yep. This is a beautiful looking place. Plants take uh, take a great deal of care. Looks like they'll all be flourishing. 